Haters are just gonna hate. It's what they do. But I can still send them a message, and I did, by slapping one of these beauties on the back of my ride. You can get yours at the same place I got mine. Link in the description. Also, new merchandise to come in the future. Thanks, and remember, don't worry about the haters. Just let the haters worry about you. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's roll. Wow, I'm like really struggling for content today. You know what? I think I'll go ahead and pull these off of here and open them up. Sound good? Maybe that one up there too if it's full. All right. What's going on, kings and queens? All right. So, I'm just like, what makes good for pretty, for good just filler video, content, knife collections. Okay, so let's see. Let's start out here. I think that one's empty. It's outside somewhere. That one's empty. That one's in the other room. Empty. All right, so these are all full. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so we'll start out. Move these over here. So let me open some of these up, see what we got, okay? So, start with this one. This is a gift from a neighbor of mine. He has two little dogs, and I went <clears throat> and uh, babysat him for a while. It's called uh, Spirit Deed. And this is a cool little blade. And I should carry it more often, but I don't. So... It's uh, should carry it. It's pretty. This is pretty cool stuff. Check this out. It's got a bolster. That's so showing up okay. Here's the blade. It's a cool blade, huh? Pretty neat. What do you think? Feels comfortable in the hand. And uh, yeah, it has a couple. Has a real nice uh, wood to it. File work done on the on the uh, back strap. So that was a spirit deed. It also comes with a nifty little uh, pouch here. It's kind of like a holster style pouch. So that's been a pretty good blade. I need I need to carry it more often though. So I'll set that one there. So what else have we got? Let's see what else we got. Um, <clears throat> Erfing, Erfing grow, Erfin, Afen grow, Yafen grow. Okay, so I'm trying to remember what boxes go what here. Okay, so this one is pretty interesting. This is a, like a jade G10 material, and it's pretty. It's a pretty staunch blade. I never carried it. I should carry it more. Here's the, here's the uh, opening on it. It's pretty, this has been pretty good. It's like a, uh, I guess you can call that a Warncliffe or a Beak style blade. It's pretty staunch. It's actually pretty, it's actually a pretty hefty little blade here. That's like a Jade G10 or, or uh, not really quite translucent, but hey, yeah, that's a Erfing, Erf, I don't know how to spell that name. I can't, I can't pronounce it. So we got another one, another, uh, Eafin Grow. Okay, here's another JG10 style blade I got. I actually was carrying this one for a while at work. It's pretty, uh, pretty nifty little blade. Feels pretty ergonomic. It's uh, uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. I was carrying that at work for a few days off and on. Put them this way because the Let's see, we got another one over here. What's this? Okay, this is. I was actually actively carrying this one for quite a bit. And I don't know if it's on some kind of rollers, but this thing just like. It's really smooth. And it's been. It's been. Um, I've been. I was carrying it at work, I was running it through all the motions. This one did pretty good. It's like a, a all all of drab style G10. 
I, I've been I was really liking that one for a long time. So let's check out let's check out these. What are these? Joker. Now Joker, I, I originally I've never owned one of these types of knives. This style of knife originated in Spain. And I was pleasantly surprised to find that the knife was made in Spain too. And it's a traditional style, uh, you know, bolster style blade. Doesn't have any thumb studs or anything like that. Opens up. And, uh, and I have not carried this knife. Um, I don't know. The one thing about it, it is a little bit uh, different trying to get this to close. There's a certain way. Um, like I'll put pressure on the blade to close it. Gotta be careful not to cut my finger here. So I'll put pressure on the blade, and there's a happy, kind of a happy, sweet spot. Okay, that's it. So, so I kind of takes a little practice. Like I'll I'll push down on it, I'll push down on it. I'll release the lock, and I'll push a little harder while my fingers are out of the way of, of the blade's uh, way, and then close it. But it's a uh, it's um. I don't know. It's definitely not like a snap open type deployment, but it's pretty cool and steep. These designs are steeped with a lot of history. So let's see. What do we got here? Another EF and Grow. I you say that. Now this is more of a magnetic style box that opens up. Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. I was actively carrying these. This one uh, more on my off hours from work. And it's been pretty good. I used to own a Strider SNG, and if I recall, this is this is a, if I to my knowledge, this is a little bit bigger. If I remember right, it was a number of years since I had that Strider. But but yeah, it's a, I kind of like that carbon fiber to it look to it. It's real. It's pretty light too. So we got another, uh, I'm, just, I'm just not going to say it no more. Okay, now here's a titanium version of that knife. I was carrying this one at work uh, quite a bit. I should start packing it again and putting it through the motions. I actually got a couple more of these, too. I was kind of going by the two is one, one is none principle, so I was buying everything in twos. This was kind of during when the whole uh, trade hubbub was going on, and I just wanted some of these just for a collection purposes and carrying purposes. So there's that one. So let's see what else have I got. Now this one, I know this one's coming out. This is this is definitely very different. Check this out, okay? Look at this. <laughs> um. Yeah, look at that one. <laughs> so it's uh I have not carried this one yet I have not put this in my pocket yet one of these days maybe I'll just kind of pack it around for fun I have not tried to open a beer bottle with that either I don't think I, I don't think I will but it's been uh it's been, it's been one it's been a good one for the collection that's just I'll just say that I just been kind of liking it for the collection so it uh when it closes, I close it, and then you kind of got to watch the kind of hit this portion hits the fingernail, and I kind of move it back and out of the way. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty different, huh? Okay, so there's that one portion of the knife. Oh, one, one more. What's this? We got an Ontario, Ontario. And I was finally got on the uh, the rat. What model is this? The rat, um, is it a rat? RAT, rat, rat one. This is the rat model one. Um, I was actually off with COVID and I had kind of was shopping around a bit and I finally got this design kind of grew on me and I figured I'd spend a long time since I had any of the rat ones or I never, I'm not, not a long time, but I never had the rat ones. And there was a lot of ones out here that look like the Rat One, so I decided to order the original Rat One. So there's the Rat One Ontario. 
Uh, I never carried this one either. I was going to try to make it into my ADC beater, and I just never carried it. I just never got around to slipping it in the pocket. So it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty good. You know, I mean, this whole collecting collection I've got together here. So let's see. I have not carried this one. 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 I used to carry this one for about a month. I carry this one for about two or three months here. I have not carried this one. I have um, carried this one more on the off hours and I actually was carrying this EDC every day to work and it was doing pretty good for me. So anyway, just some uh, content to throw up and, and uh, knives are always fun and it's just kind of fun to dive in and show them off. And So it's uh, just wanted you to just decide to see if you enjoy knife content. I got some more coming. God, I got even more in those in that closet just more knives and then we got more outside it's just crazy so how many knives i got i got some old bench maids one of these days i'll get around to pulling them all out so just for now though here's a few on the collection i just figured i'd show you guys so all right and hey you know what i never let anybody hate on my knives because i don't worry about the haters i just let the haters worry about me okay see you on the next one folks bye bye